And, and while start Greg that is off. running setup, I'm going to tell you a story. Now, this story start is really based upon a position paper that I wrote in 1993 before coming to Microsoft. I wrote this position paper and submitted it as a position paper for a conference on high performance transaction systems. And the title of the paper is Transaction Processing and the Barbarian Hordes. So, if you put yourself back in time and you start out in classical Rome, the Roman Empire ran from about 500 BC to about 500 AD. And they controlled southern Europe, they controlled North Africa, the Middle East, and the Balkans. And they were incredible. They had engineering, roads, buildings that are still standing today. Their civil government, they ran the largest empire known in the Western world. But at the end of this thousand year reign, they started to lose their vitality. Now, meanwhile, in Northern Europe, you had an unshaven and unkempt rabble that was running around, and for recreation, they do raping and pillaging and having a good time. Their civil government was typified by Conan the Barbarian. In 476 AD, Conan? Conan the Barbarian. Okay, thanks. Yeah. In 476 AD, that's right, that's the way it was. You know, it's just terrible. Right, in 476 AD, they came and they sacked Rome. And not only did they sack Rome, they like destroyed the government, they forgot all the knowledge, and it was just a horrible thing. And what happened was, after they sacked Rome, Europe fell into the chaos of the Dark Ages. Now, all of Europe now was running around doing this. But after they sacked Rome, they didn't quite destroy all of the Roman Empire. There was part of the Roman Empire in the east that survived. These vestiges, they had significant downsizing, but they still survived. <laughs> it's true, it's true. So now you're in, the, you're in Europe and you're running around and they got the Dark Ages for a long period of time. But what happened after this was from roughly 700 AD to 1500 AD, the Muslims dominated the Middle East and leveraging what they had in from Eastern Roman knowledge, they embraced and extended the classics. And they developed algebra, science, astronomy, and medicine that was way beyond what had ever been known in the world. And they ran North Africa, parts of Spain, the Middle East, and really dominated that region from around 700 AD to around 1500 AD. But they kind of lost their energy toward the end of this period of time. And in 1085, the barbarians captured the library at Toledo. And by accident, they forgot to burn the library. And so for the next 400 years, wise people from all throughout Europe came to study with the Muslims and to learn this knowledge that they'd inherited from the classics. And combining that incredible knowledge and wisdom with the energy and vitality the barbarians had running around in Northern Europe, out of that was forged the Renaissance and from that renaissance came our modern western civilization. So you might wonder what this has to do with a computer conference. <laughs> Pat. If you go back to the late 1950s and the early 1960s, IBM and other mainframe vendors offered full cradle-to-grave support for an enterprise customers. They offered 24 by 7 operations. Databases were ensuring high availability access to your data. Transaction processing monitors, TP monitors offered scalable applications. Most everyone wore business suits, right? <laughs> it was just amazing. But in the 1980s, they really, really lost so much of their energy and vitality. Now, starting in the, late, in the early 1970s, there was this rabble of unshaven and unkempt engineers that decided to build an operating system. They completely ignored what the mainframe vendors had done. And they decided that the important thing about computing was that computing had to be fun. And it was fun. And very soon, universities were stamping out hordes of engineers that really believed in their soul computing was supposed to be fun. Now, looking to their roots in the promiscuous 60s, 
this group decided to na label their community the Open Systems Community. <laughs> A small sect of this community really wanted to emphasize the personal nature of their computers. So they labeled themselves personal computer community. Now they decided that it was going to be fun and they had lots of fun and made lots of money and had lots and lots of energy. But something amazing happened in the middle of the 1990s. The barbarians discovered transactions. <laughs> now combining this knowledge and wisdom of the classics with the incredible strength and vitality of this barbarian rabble. We together are going to forge what is beginning today, which is the renaissance of distributed computing. <laughs> and so now it's time for a demo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm going to live up to that. <laughs> You're welcome, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that.